Welcome back to the Pop 'em Don't Watch 'em Whiskey YouTube channel tonight. Back for sample pack number eight, the Riverbend Market Blind Sample Challenge. We are on pack number eight. Me and Joe have been putting together these sample packs for you guys. It has been an insane success. So we want to say thank you to everybody in the area that participates in every sample pack that we do. Every one of them sell out within days. We are already on sample pack number eight. Cannot believe it. We wanted to do something different this time. Finished rise. So the whole flight is finished rise. We will go over each one and what the contenders are. We have some serious hitters, $200 bottle, $40 bottle. It ranges up and down. Let's get into the contenders. So contender number one, Rye 3. That is the pink top sample. My boy Karthik over at Rye 3. He does a blend, it's a three recipe rye blend, and then it's finished in rum casks. That one is coming in at 100 proof. Number two, Angel's Envy Rye, finished in rum casks. This is the green label on the sample packs, coming in also at 100 proof. This is a 95.5 rye, finished in rum casks. This rye is probably one of the most popular ryes out there. A lot of beginners love this rye. It's very sweet from the rum cask finish. I don't know anybody that's just getting into bourbon that has, or whiskey in general that has not had this rye. I know I had it. It is a little pricey. I think it's like $95 now, but everybody that is just getting into whiskey really seems to like it, especially as a beginner. You really like the sweetness. I find as your palate starts to evolve, this gets left behind. But hey, we'll see how it does in this finished rye flight. I've never had it against other finished ryes to see how it would do. Contender number three, Redemption Rye finished in Caribbean Rum Cast. That is the white label. That one comes in at 94 proof. That is also MGP distilled. And then... The two hitters. Can one of those three upset the two hitters that are in this flight? Number one, Midwinter Night's Dram. Everybody loves it. It's a cult following. Well, I say everybody. I got to admit, I am not a fan. The older ones, the original old Kentucky MGP Rise were fantastic. But now they've moved into their own. Okay, so now this is mostly... High West Rendezvous Rye, and it's finished in French oak port barrels. This one's coming in at 98.6. This is Act 9, Scene 2. So the Act is the batch. The Scene number is just the bottling as it comes off the line. So bottling 1, bottling 2, bottling 3. That does not change anything. The Act is the batch number. This is Act 9. This was... My favorite in probably two or three years. I thought this was really good. It did really well in the blind bracket challenge for Rye. Also, Rye 3, if you uh, saw my the, in the final of the Rye bracket challenge for 2021, Rye 3, the Mashing Journey pick, came in second place. Almost won that flight. Came in second place for my Rye of the Year for 2021. Of course, it lost out to um, Alberta Premium Cash Strength, which won number one. So back to Midwinter's Night Dram. That is the black label on the sample packs. And then the big hitter, the four gate. Rye down under, coming in at 110.2 proof. Aged a minimum of seven year. MGP Rye finished in Australian Apera Sherry Casks. In my opinion, this is the best rye Fourgate has put out. I tasted it, loved it. I tell everybody, if you're going to buy a Fourgate, of course, when it comes to the bourbon, the Kelvin collaborations are the bread and butter. But as far as rye, this is the best rye that I've had that Fourgate has done. Some people disagree. I don't really care. This is good juice. 
But let's see how it does in the blind bracket. Then we will go over the results to see how you, the customers, had them graded compared to mine. Here we go. We're gonna go from my left to right, starting off with number one. Oh, that is a black pepper. Whoa, man. So we're starting off with an interesting nose here right off the bat. Very black pepper, sweet cinnamon. Oh, man, that is a very interesting nose. Wow, coming out the glass. What a nose. It's going to sound weird, but it's almost like a, um, a spicy pepper cotton candy. That, that is almost what it smells like. It's got so much pepper, but yet so much candy sweetness at the same time. All right, guys, everybody participating in these sample packs, cheers to you. Man, that is number one coming out, coming out the gates with a hitter. The balance on that is great. Great spice, great sweetness, very complex, has a nice finish, number one. Now, you never know, it changes as you go to and from, but so that is a great way to start it out. Number two. So this one not nowhere near the black pepper and the cinnamon and the spice and the rye that was coming off of that one. This one is more, this one's a lot more sweet. I get a little bit of uh, mustiness. So whatever this was finished in, those barrels were probably a little older or, or used probably two, three times. So the rye coming through, sweetness coming through. It's very interesting when you get these ryes finished in these rum and these port barrels, because rye, of course, is spicy. So you finish them in these sweet finishes and it really creates a great balance. One was really good, two was okay, two was good. This is gonna be tough, because the profiles, <clears throat> I don't wanna say they start to run together, but it's hard to really dig deep into them when they're all finished and it's rye, it's 95 rye, or it's it's finished in rum. The, com the complexity and the profiles are gonna run together. This one's very light on the nose. Not a lot here. Get a little bit of um a little bit of the rye spice, but Nothing's popping out the glass. A little of that rye, that pininess that you get from a rye. So the nose did not have a lot, but the palate's not bad. The problem on this one is it's very watery, not palate coating. Well, these two both had a nice finish, nice mouthfeel. This one has a quick little spice hit, and then it dies, goes away. No finish. And that's ter it's, that's sad because the, if they had a better nose and a finish, the flavor is there, but it just dissipates so fast, does not stick around. All right, number four. Oh, man, that's a good nose. Fig, honey-covered figs. Chocolate. Oh, man, that is a good, this is good whiskey. This is good whiskey. Man. See, this one is very complex. So what I just said, this one is sticking out because now this one's actually coming out with a different profile. Tons of dark fruit. And this is a rye. A lot of citrus rind, a lot of orange rind, almost like a um, 
honey covered orange rind or those orange candies that have the sugar on them. Man, that is a great, great nose. Deep, dark, rich. Oh. That is a hitter. So the first time around, one and two have definitely stuck out. The finish is okay on number four. But that initial hit of flavor, spice, sweetness, great number four. Let me get a sip here. Guys, if you're on the North Shore, PB Liuza, Peter Borello, he's going to find you the home or property of your dreams. One of the big time customers of River Bend Market. He's today's video sponsor. Give him a call, 985 789 7445. He just put up a listing. Huge acreage out in Pearl River, Mississippi, off the interstate. $3.2 million land. Go check them out. Peter Borello, PB Lyuza. All right, let's get to the fifth and final one. Not much on this one as well. This one, yeah, this one's very ethanol. It's different though. I have a feeling I know what this is because it has a little bit of a Canadian rye profile to it, where the other ones you can tell were all mostly MGP or different rye. Canadian rye has a very distinct nose to it. So the nose was just okay, but the paddle was actually pretty good on that. So this is going to be tough. So just first time around, we're going to eliminate the middle, number three, because it was just flat, had no finish. The other ones had a nice mouthfeel. I like a mouthfeel. I like the finish to stick around just a little bit. This one just dissipated too fast. So that's going to be number five. All right. Let's go back around. God, that nose, whatever that is, that nose. The black pepper coming off of this, unbelievable. So the nose definitely goes to either this one or this one. But this is so interesting with this nose. That sweetness, it's an orange citrus with black pepper on it. That is wild. And I'm looking around, I really don't know. I mean, I can see what it could be, but. Wow. So when you put it against this one, this one annihilates it. That is, man, this is crazy. This one's going to be tough. These two, definitely going to keep going. Let's try to eliminate one out of these two. Yeah, this one, this one's good, but it's not sticking around. This one comes on top. Sticks around and has a different type of profile to it. It has a sweet, has a spice, nice balance. So we're down to the final three here. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. I can already tell you this is going to come in third place. That is not, these two have definitely stood out. Definitely stood out. Man, this is going to be very interesting to see what these two are. This nose, I wish, I, well, I don't wish, I mean, you guys had them. So when we, ever, we find out what this is, this nose, that black pepper is incredible. This nose is just so complex and deep.
These are two very, very good rides in the blind. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta understand that when I talk about something, a whiskey, when I'm doing a blind, I mean in this blind, it stood out. That's gonna be your winner, but the only thing that differentiated this one from this one was the mouthfeel and that finish. This one just dissipated a little, a little shorter and it, the mouthfeel was just a little watery, not watery, but not as mouth coating as this one. So there it is. Let's see the winner of mine. Sample pack number eight, fifth place goes to the Redemption Ride. Not a surprise there, 94 proof. It's very watered down. Not bad, it just, in this flight, it just, it did not stick out. No finish, very watery. Redemption Ride comes in fifth. This is when it's gonna get interesting because now you got four. Well, now the Ride three still in there, but here's four that easily could have won this. In fourth place. <laughs> wow. Midwinter's Night's Dram comes in fourth place in this flight. Very interesting. I mean, the nose is there. It just, in this flight, for some reason, for me, didn't do it. So that means the Ride 3, guys, Ride 3 on the shelf at Riverbend Market. And, and, you know, if you're closer, wherever you're watching this at, Ride 3, they're doing really good things. And if you can get their cask strength stuff, oh, my God. They're doing light whiskey, 14-year light whiskey, single barrel picks now. Ride 3 is worth it. I'm telling you right now. In third place, there it is, ride three. So that's a good showing, good showing. It knocks out Midwinter's Night's Dram in my flight. So very surprising here, okay? I'm very surprised that the Angels Envy's in the top two. On its own, I could not drink this anymore. It's too sweet. It has good flavor, obviously, but in this blind, here we go. The winner of the Rye Finished Sample Pack number eight is Four Gate Rye Down Under takes it. Fucking right. Rye. That is a good rye. Proven here tonight, and we're gonna prove it in the rankings. The rye, the four gate rye down under takes it. Kiss my ass. That is a good rye. Buy it. I'm telling you, that is the best rye for. I don't care what the haters say, what y'all want to say. I've gotten some hate on it. Don't care. That bottle is good, and we proved it with this sample pack. Coming in second place, Angel's Envy. Guys, this is a surprise. Like I said, on its own, it's just so sweet. But I guess in this blind, that, that black pepper note, which I'm still getting... With that rum, it did well in his blind. But now, there it is. Let's see how you rank them, and then we'll add mine. So, when we rank them, it's an average score of one through five. So, the highest average score in winning the Riverbend Sample Pack number eight with an average score of 2.44 and the most First place votes with now 11. Four gate ride down under takes it. Number one. Wow, okay, well, I'm surprised here. I did not, I wrote all this down, guys, but I don't sit here and memorize it. So now I'm, I'm like, oh shit. 2.52 Angels Envy. So right now, we're, I'm dead on with you guys. One and two. The Angels Envy had seven first place votes, six second place votes to get it in that second place finish. Third place, Midwinter's Night's Dram with a 2.74. It had four, four, four first place votes, but it had nine second place votes to keep his average a little higher. It was actually, Joe told me, it was actually winning for a little while. And then when the back end of the votes came in, it was almost like the election. Overnight, 
The back end votes came in and Fourgate took off. In third place, so this is where we disagreed here. In third place, 3.56, I'm sorry, fourth place, 3.56 was the redemption. It had 10 last place votes. And then in last place with 3.75 was the Rye 3. It had 10 last place votes too. Came in third for me. I can understand why this came in last place. It's, it's There's a lot of Canadian Rye in here. Some people do not like Canadian Rye. I love it. I think Canadian, you know, good Canadian, especially a cash drink. If the bottle, the Canadian 26-year Octanium Canadian Whiskey, the Doomsday Pour that River Bend we just released, 155 proof. Whiskey of the year so far for me, but that's a different story. But there it is. So four gate and Angel's Envy. We were one and two, so I, I agree with you guys in this flight. But there it is. Four gate, 11 first place votes wins the finished rye sample pack number eight. Guys, love doing these with you all. Don't know what the next one's going to be yet. We got to be trying to... Keep you guys guessing. We're, we're keeping you on your toes, doing different things, giving you an opportunity to drink and taste whiskeys you may never get or just don't want to buy. Now you can once you've tasted it. We hope all five of these you sample and you're like, I want to buy a bottle now. That is the purpose of this flight. Four Gate wins it. Until the next sample pack, guys, you already know. Don't watch.